The jet is a very simple engine. All it does is sucks air particles in and expels them from the back at a much faster speed. A force called thrust is created as the engine and the aeroplane accelerate in the opposite direction to the air that it expels. Of course, the jet engine needs to process a much greater amount of air to produce the strong and constant thrust it needs to sustain flight. And in simplified terms, this is how it works. The jet engine consists of a rotating shaft. The shaft has a fan and a low pressure turbine attached at either end of it. As the fan spins, it sucks air into the engine. You may wonder what makes the fan spin. We'll get to it shortly. In a typical airliner jet engine, the air inside is separated. Most of it bypasses the core of the engine and is simply pushed out of the rear at a much faster speed. This bypass air produces most of the thrust which pushes the aeroplane forward. This type of jet engine is called a turbofan. Back inside the engine, there is another overlapping shaft with a smaller fan-like device called the compressor attached to the front of it and a high-pressure turbine attached to the back of it. The air that remains inside the engine core is sucked in and squeezed by the spinning compressor. This process makes the pressure and the temperature of the air much higher as it flows out of the compressor into the combustion chamber. In the combustion chamber, jet fuel is added to the air and this mixture is ignited by a spark. A combustion process takes place which makes the air and fuel mixture expand rapidly and increase in temperature and pressure. The high pressure air must find its way out of the back of the engine now as it rushes past a set of high pressure turbine blades just like a windmill it forces them to spin very fast. Since the high pressure turbine is connected to the compressor via a shaft it rotates the compressor blades too which in turn suck and compress more air in the engine and so on. Next, the high pressure air meets the low pressure turbine and makes it spin. This turbine is connected via a shaft to the fan at the front. This is where the fan gets its energy from as it continues to spin and suck air into the engine. The exhaust air now shoots out of the back of the engine as it contributes to the thrust that moves the aeroplane forward. A modern turbofan engine is powerful enough to suck the air out of a large house for every second that it operates. At takeoff, each spinning fan blade carries a load of 90 tonnes. That's equivalent to about nine double decker buses in weight. A compressor squeezes the air to about 50 times its normal size. The engine is made up of about 18,000 components. The fuel in the combustion chamber burns at about 2,000 degrees Celsius and the power such an engine can produce is equivalent to 750 cars. Thanks for watching.